Coming up in today's video, we take a look at how I paint the spring oak leaf pattern. Painting any SS camouflage can be a daunting task, but mark my words, the technique you'll see in this video is a simple one, but the results speak for themselves. Stay tuned until the end of the video, as you'll get a chance to see one of the giveaway prizes, which will be part of my 1000 subscribers celebration video. Let me know in the comments below how you found this tutorial and if you'll be using it in the future. Okay, so we've painted oak leaf for autumn and fall. Now we're gonna paint it for spring and summer. So to start off with, I'm using German camo black brown from Vallejo. And then I'm gonna be painting the areas of the uniform uh, that are gonna be in oak leaf in mud brown. So if you had a helmet cover on, I'd be painting that in mud brown, trousers, uh, etc. It's really up to you uh, what areas of the uniform you want to be in this oak leaf color. Be quite generous here. Naturally, if the paint looks like it's starting to dry super quickly, don't be coating it on. Try and thin that paint down because if the paint is thick and it's starting to build up, then you're going to lose some of those really finer details that are the difference between like your average miniature and your really nice miniature. Now in my typical fashion, I'm giving it a wash uh, in Umbar from Vallejo. I watered this wash down slightly because I didn't want it to be too dark. Uh, and then I'm just going over the entire uniform. If you're smart, unlike me, and you've painted ahead of time all the other bits of equipment that you need to be washed, uh, this is a good opportunity to do that as well. Now I'm going back over the mud brown. So the mud brown's darkened, I wanna go back over it, but I wanna capture the details. So any creases, any bits of area that have lifted and try and make shadows in his folds of his arms and the hood, all of that stuff just to try and get it to pop. Use a finer brush for this. You don't want to be using the thick brush that we used for the initial base coat of Mud Brown. The reason we want to do that is because we want the accuracy of a, a finer brush to get into those really fine areas. It takes patience, but it will pay off in the end. Now we can move on to the fun part. So we're going with black green. This is gonna be giving us the initial dark green part of the oak leaf pattern. So you can see that in oak leaf, there is a dark green, a medium green and a light green. I'm skipping the medium green just because you cannot really make it out um, with this scale of miniature. You probably could if you really wanted to put effort into it, but I just don't think it's necessary. It's an extra step that we can avoid. So I'm using this dark green to start off with and I'm painting probably about 50% of his arm in this color, but I'm making it random um, and trying to keep them all sort of joined and thicker in areas and lighter in other areas. Um, sort of use reference material off Google or if you've got books, etc. They can come in really handy. I'm also painting little green dots. So I'm making the green dots at different sizes. I'm just painting the odd few. I'm not covering the whole thing in it. Just a couple of dots here and there just to show that it's broken off. And then now I'm moving on to Golden Olive. Again, it's from AK Interactive. This is going to be for that really bright green color. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to try and simulate the broken part of that bright green color. So if you look back at the reference material we just looked at previously, you can see that the green isn't just one big green blob in within the dark green. It's little tiny bits merged together, broken away. So you're going to have to be very patient and just dab away. If you just keep dab, 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 it will build up and it will start to look like the pattern that you're trying to achieve. Now be warned, this will probably destroy your brush over time, especially the pointy end of the brush. So use a cheaper brush if you can. And then this is what we're trying to achieve. So this is what we've got from that technique I've shown you. Hopefully you would agree that it's looked pretty good. Now I'm giving it a glaze in brown glaze from AK Interactive. I'm just toning it down a touch. I don't want it to be super green. 
um, or bright green. I'm just toning it down and such. I've also got my oak leaf autumn tutorial linked in the description. So now I'm going back over all of the mistakes that I've made in terms of going over bits of the equipment, you know, his rifle helmet, all of that fun stuff with German camo dark brown. So that's the initial color we used before we started painting the model properly. So now we need to get the winter white of the uniform. So it's reversible jacket. So we use deck tan to achieve that as the initial white or whiter color that I'm using. So again, you're going to need a fine brush for this and you're going to need to take your time, but it really makes the uniform pop when you can do this. He also has a helmet cover, so I'm going to be painting his helmet cover in this deck tan as well. Now I'm going over that deck tan in white grey. This is just to make that deck tan um, pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to be putting that in the raised areas, adding a few scratches on the top of his, of his helmet cover as well. And there we go. So that's what it should look like uh, once we've finished the uniform and we're ready to move on to his equipment. And just finally, I forgot to add in the reddish gray. So this is just for his buttons and the uniform. And then there we go. So there they are all finished. Um, I think it came out really well. I was really happy with the results. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the results. Um, but also I mentioned at the start in the intro that I'm doing a giveaway. I've reached a thousand subscribers, so I'm gonna be having a giveaway. There's gonna be three prizes to win. The main prize is what you're seeing right now. So there's gonna be a 10 man platoon of German winter infantry. So if you've seen the series that I've done so far, you would know that these are featured in all of them. So that's what you're gonna win. That's the main prize, that's the first prize. Um, but you're gonna to have to stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have an announcement sometime next week and we're going to go through the prizes discuss a little bit about the future of the channel and all of that fun stuff so if you're interested in all of that i really recommend you subscribe um, leave a comment down below and i'll catch you guys at the next one